A family torn apart by a deadly crash just outside their home. A mom killed this morning while taking her son to school. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Penny. And I'm Brian Schlonsky in for Steve. This morning's crash happened at Calle Cristobal and Caminito Propico. People who live there say it's a problem intersection. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano is joining us now. And Rena, the child suffered major injuries. Good evening. You know, a lot of people we spoke to, the neighbors here say they love this area, but they absolutely hate this intersection. Take a look at what's it turned what it's turned into. It is now a memorial for a young mom. It's not very safe at all. That's what Lara Janda has been saying for years about her own driveway at Canyon Park Villas in Mira Mesa. There's been so many accidents that we've Seen. Then on Friday morning, she saw this. Through the heavy fog, she found her neighbor's car crunched into another. Glass everywhere. There was no movement or anyone coming out of that vehicle. San Diego police says at around 7 a.m., a 27-year-old woman was in this white Acura driving out of the Canyon Park Villa apartments. At the same time, a 26-year-old man in this gray Honda was going westbound on Calle Cristobal when the two cars collided. Investigators say the woman died on scene. Her four-year-old son, who was in a child seat, suffered a broken pelvis, broken ribs, a fractured skull, and a broken right knee. Family members of the victims overcome with emotion. Yes, my daughter in the car. I don't believe. Janda says she is saddened by what she knew was eventually going to happen. She says she reported the dangerous intersection to traffic police four times in the last two years, but saw no change. We have high foliage here. We have this large pole here. So it's very difficult for him to see who's coming around. For one family, Good Friday has become the worst day of their lives, and a neighborhood now shaken up, hoping an accident like this will never happen again. This is a wake up call, hopefully, to the city so that we have enough time to exit this driveway safely. And again, take a look at the intersection right behind me. It's very difficult to see what cars are coming over this way. And again, that is the exact problem that many people living in this apartment complex have been arguing to the city that something needs to change. One of the suggestions they were saying is maybe down the hill a little bit, add some flashing lights that says intersection ahead or something like that to slow down so that these incidents never happen again. Reporting live in Mira Mesa, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News.